welcome to the stage the directors, John Maloof and Charlie Siskel. Thank you. That was an incredible Thanks. movie. It was really... Um, Thanks. I mean, it's, it's my first time I saw it. Yeah, but you two have done uh, an incredible job. And it's, this is not your typical biopic. Thank God you made it as a movie for the theaters. This should be seen uh, with other people in the dark on a big screen so that these pictures can be seen this way, not on a friggin' iPhone. Uh, <laughs> and, and, it, and, then, and then three quarters of the way through, I started to mourn the loss of film. <laughs> film. Wow. We're so fucked. I mean, no, nobody thinks about this, that this digital thing is, there's, in the history, 200 years from now, if we live that long, the planet, um, <laughs> we're going to look back, and there's going to be this big black hole of a loss of film, images, whatever, because, and if you don't believe that, how's your, how's your kid's pictures doing on that five-inch floppy disk that you can't put into a single computer anywhere? There's like one place in New York and L.A. now you can actually take your family. People, whole families have lost their, unless they did the transfers, they've lost the family photo album. This is all gone, and it's just, and the preservation of movies. I won't get into this now, but I just want to say that I hope what you've done is make, make people think about this, that there is something about film on, on, on so many levels, but in the preservation area, we know it will last at least 100 years. We have no idea how this digital thing, it may be the greatest thing since sliced bread, it may be the worst thing ever, but we don't know that right now. And we won't have, and I don't, and I don't know if the pictures that we have now would have had what that, though what she had with that particular camera, with film, and, 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 the, and I just, I don't know. We can talk about that, but I just, I, I'm sorry I'm rambling. I just uh, was really affected by this movie. Did you like it? I mean, it's uh, a... <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. I'll just say one quick thing about what you said initially, Michael. I, I do think that um, that uh, one gets the feeling that most of the great works of art uh, that have been made in history have been lost. That it's uh, that it's the exception that art, great art, is preserved, and that most of it doesn't isn't seen. I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> I mean, you said a lot of things that I. Thank totally God, agree your with. dad was a hoarder. <laughs> Or that no, one, no, storage my, wars, or whatever that. No, thing my is. brother. That was my older Your brother, brother, fifteen year old, older than me. Brother, uh, he did storage auctions when I was growing up. I worked with him. Um, he had a thrift store, and we do. He did flea markets. My father did flea markets, and so I grew up in that whole circuit of resale. Uh, but seriously, we, you know, I remember throwing out negatives. It's just like you know, family negatives is not valuable, or whatever. It's always assumed as they're family negatives. You know. What's your background? Do you go to college? Uh, my, I don't really have a background. It's not a trick question. No, yeah. I, I mean, I went to, I, okay went to I went to Columbia College for yeah. a year, and then I went to community college. That means college. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, yeah. in Chicago. You, know, not, not, you the, can't not, say that here. Not, yeah, right, right, right. Hey, no, you mean I, Chicago. Arts, I went to yeah. an art school for a year, and I went to a community college for a year. That's all. That's it. That's all you got in you. So that's why when you saw these incredible works of art, you didn't even trust yourself. You had to get... Totally. Some I didn't sort actually, of uh, I didn't even think that the they were tape good. or the yeah. MoMA has to tell me that it's good. Well, in fact, right when I saw them, I wasn't a photographer, so I didn't really know oh, yeah. well, that they were know? that good. Yeah. I, I, I thought they were okay, you know, and then I, that, those negatives got me into photography, and then learning photography, revisiting them, I was like, wait, they're a little better than I thought, and then I put them online, and it kind of validated my assumption. Right. So but what is yeah. it, but what is it that in us, especially though, because you are part then of, of what, that class that she sure, came sure. from, you know, what, what, I mean, how do, you know, this is not an audience mostly of filmmakers, how do they know this was a good movie? That they, how do you know? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you asking Who the me? fuck are you? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, but that's right. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's just, it's not only just that we've missed a thousand other photographers or artists, there's another thousand or ten thousand of you, and people who would appreciate this if they had a chance. Well, to I mean, I, I'd say like, okay, so I, I, the people who I was buying all the boxes from at the at the auction, or after they bought the boxes from the original auction, because I bought one of several boxes, right? So the people who I was buying these boxes off of after I was into photography by her, you know, inspired by her, I would go, 
I'd find their information through the auction house and I would go visit them. You know, I, I was shooting at the Royal Flex at the time. And, you know, like, what do you want with this work? And I was like, well, I don't know, maybe, a, maybe an exhibition, maybe a book. I don't know. That's what I'm hoping to do with it one day. You know, I just want to put it all together. And they thought that it was a stupid idea. So I got it for real cheap, you know. And I didn't even know if it was a good idea at the time, too. I was really questioning how much money I'm spending on this stuff. Um, so a lot of people had this work that they just bought it because it's an impulse buy. It goes so cheap, people buy everything at an auction that goes to a certain point. But ultimately, you, ultimately you didn't give up on your kind of instinct that said, there's something here. Yeah. There's something yeah. that I really love about this. Yeah. Charlie, and um, I think I think yeah. John also has a little bit of a I have a little OCD too. streak. <laughs> Again, there's a name the for that now. They've got <laughs> yeah. a pill for sure, you. Sure, sure, sure. But I'm they, obsessive. You have OCD or whatever. I'm you glad want he to call hasn't it. taken that pill. But yeah. thank God, right? Right. Well, of course, Charlie has <laughs> had to work with you, so I don't know. Maybe not thank God. <laughs> well, he but. has a little bit of a tool. Yes. We both, yeah. Well, it's shared. <laughs> no, I'm not. But like you're carrying a camera on you just like she did. Sure. But like. I don't carry, you know, I don't like, you know, approach other photographers and say your work is good. Or, I don't judge other photographers, okay? I don't, I'm not, I've only been doing this for, you know, five or six years, so I don't really have the, 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 the wherewithal to say that type of thing, you know? So when I first got into photography, it was because of Vivian Meyer. So I started doing um, ro Roloflex, you know, shots in the city street photography. And then I got introduced to color photography. You know, maybe is because I reached out to Joel Meyerowitz, who's in the film, and um, his work really inspired me. And it's color; it's 35 millimeter, and he puts a lot of information in the frame, and that got me uh, inspired. So uh, yeah, I shoot color now. I don't, uh, I don't shoot black and white. Mm -hmm. She was very frugal, so she didn't really spend. You know, she was looking at a shot as if, you know, if she missed the shot, she lost money. I think. You know, so I mean, it relates to everything she did. You know, she's very frugal, and she. I think that's why her good to bad ratio of photography is, you know, so great compared to others. Is because she wouldn't probably take the shot unless she she knew she had it. There would be whole whole contact sheets where we would see uh, just one shot per subject. She yeah. would shoot a subject and move on. She wouldn't take mm -hmm. multiple shots. She either she most of she, the time that's the case. Yeah, she she didn't take knew, multiple knew shots. She had it. <laughs> Nobody's suing me. Uh, you know, we worked it out with the relatives, and um, you know, I, we, I have permission and uh, granted to do uh, to publish her work through through that channel. You're you're due every dime that you get for for making sure that her work lives on and is exposed oh, to so you. many people. That's my humble opinion. Yeah, really. I think she would have been recognized. Uh, it's a gr it's a great st just quickly. It's a great story. Um, it would be a great story if the photographs were just okay. It would still be a great story. I don't think it would have the resonance that it has. I don't think people would be as interested in it as they are if it weren't for the fact that the photography is incredible and wonderful. This and, and just one last question for me: How did this work? So you're okay. So you're the guy that found it, and you're in it. Uh, Charlie, did you? How did you? How did this? How did it work between the two of you? To well, I never did a this film. This particular film. I never, never made a film. a film before. I never even went to film school. Right. So I was established. I did a documentary. So. Um, Don't go to film. film yeah. School. Well, I mean, so. <laughs> I, right. I, Jeff Charlie, Garland was what, a fan. What film school did you go to? Film school. No, no, <laughs> no, but you're, you, were, you, were a law, you were a lawyer, basically. Was, yes, yeah. You had no film training. Yeah. 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 So how did this work uh, between the two of you? Because you made a beautiful movie. Well, uh, thank you. John, um, John had started to, to shoot uh, interviews. He had started to shoot some of the film. And then uh, I got involved, and we started to give it shape. I mean, the story was, the story was public before the film. Um, so uh, the story kind of caught on. We were making the film as the photography was being uh, developed and printed. And shows were, were um, you know, were, were being done, uh, but there was also news coverage of the story itself. So, you know, we we were making the film as the story was unfolding and developing, and kind of almost chasing the story as we went. Um, but uh, but we uh, <laughs> we uh, and John's work is never done, clearly. Uh, but we we you know we. Basically, uh, I focused a lot on uh, shaping the story, and um, and John uh, has become a very accomplished photographer, and and in the course of, of making the film, a very accomplished cinematographer. Um, so he would do a lot of the shooting. We would talk about what we wanted to get out of various interviews, and we started to edit, of course, with the work 
uh, great work of our editors. Three editors are here tonight. Um, and uh, so it was very much, yes, it was very much so. a, a collaborative process of, of shaping the story. Well, um, I'm going to take their picture here. <laughs> Sorry. something. <laughs> that looks good. You, you own those, Michael. Uh, <laughs> you, took, you took them. Uh, the copyright's yours. Yeah. Um, the, uh, you were just present at the U.S. premiere of this film. No one has seen it in this country besides you. Thank you for being here tonight. Please so tell other people about this wonderful movie. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, John. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much.